This is a Contron Fujitsu motherboard. Basically, uh, Dense Bly Serona substituted this in the version 5.2.2 PC. The advantage to this is that without any firmware changes, we can do a generation 9 CPU. This particular board was not uh, a Dense Supply Omnicam motherboard, uh, so we're going to be finding out whether we can take just a regular Contron, uh, the same uh, model, and replace that and see what happens with it. This is a typical Omnicam PC chassis. In this case, this is a version 227. This was around about 2013, 14. Uh, you might have a 222 through 227. It's going to have basically the same components in it. Uh, we'll talk about the MSI motherboard that's inside of this. Uh, this so as you can see, uh, this is an X79 GD45 MSI motherboard. Uh, this will have uh, an i7 in it. This was the capture card. And the video card this one actually has a radeon video card uh, amd which is actually faster um, but we're going to be taking this motherboard out putting a faster newer motherboard in it that can allow for an i9 processor all right the next step of the process was to pull out the old motherboard disconnecting all the various connections the next part's going to be connecting these up in the proper things we need RAM memory to be in here. That's one of the things I need to add into here. We need an NVMe um, hard drive in here. You need the power connection from the power source. That's from now when you're converting um, a 2.2.7 unit into the 5.2.2, uh, .2 there are a few things that you have to be prepared for. The number of fan connections uh, is not sufficient on most of the other motherboards. So in this case, there is a fan that this connection here is this fan over here. And then these two connections connect up here for two other fans in the unit. And as you see, these two fan ports are filled and this one is sitting here loose. So you have to buy a some type of a system. This is one way to do it. Another is a connector that'll look more like this and has three uh, extra connectors coming off it so that you can splice or Y off of that and have enough connections. In All right, this computer build is making progress uh, to kind of outline what's been going on is we added the fan. Now, before we put the fan on the CPU, we took and put some thermal paste and we used a business card to spread the thermal paste out to make it a very thin layer, okay? And, uh, and then we attached it down here. There are some fasteners underneath the motherboard. And we push with pressure and fasten these guys, just like you're putting a tire on a car. You do a little bit at a time until you get it fastened down. And then after that, right over here, we hook the fan up. There's a four-prong connector right here on this Contron motherboard. We hooked it up right there. Okay, so that's part of the progress. Just to outline again the things going on here, we put a Omni Grabber card in here. We put a video card. In this case, it's an NVIDIA 2060 with eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, the one I prefer actually is the 2060 with eight gigabytes called a Supra. It's definitely faster. Now, first of all, by doing all of this, we're gonna make an Omnicam that's at least 30% faster than the fastest Omnicam and that's a good thing, all right? Now, down here, we have a connector that connects up to the motherboard. This helps when you push the power button on the uh, AC chassis, you know, the yellow button. Uh, this tells it to go to green and, and boot up. Otherwise, if this wasn't connected, it wouldn't come on. Now, that is hooked up in conjunction with your Omnicam grabber card. If you have a bad grabber card, and sometimes you'll push that green button, it'll look like it'll start to boot up and it'll shut right off. It's oftentimes the result of a bad Omnicam grabber. This is the power to the Omnicam. This is that uh, on and off switch. Then down here you have a sound system to the speaker over here, and then the sound hooking up to the motherboard over in this corner over here. We have two fan connectors, but as I mentioned, in these Omnicams, there's three connectors that are needed. So in this case, we bought an extension. You could either wire it in together and splice them, but uh, I did that on one unit. It's just easier to buy a 
connector hook into these two ports here for the fan and then hook up the extra connector here instead of having to solder them together. We have the SATA connectors. In this case, you can hook a SATA drive up to the unit. We're gonna hook one up, but use it only to collect data. And then we have an NVMe drive down here. The NVMe is at least five times faster in uh, throughput of data. We're gonna hook that up down here. And then uh, once all that's in there, this unit is pretty close to getting it going. Right here, this is a Wi-Fi here the Omni capture card and the video card. And we went over the different connections, the power connector. In this unit, there'll be an extra connector that's not needed. Over here on the video card, we had put an adapter here. We went from a six prong to an eight prong connector. All right, and there's a bar that fits across here. And we're probably just gonna leave that bar out. But the bar can be modified. You see where I drew the felt pin. You could cut that away and then this bar would fit back over and hold these components in place. I'm not sure that that's necessary. It's a little bit of overkill. But a lot of these things were hot glued in the original Omnicam and sometimes you might want to get your hot glue gun out or some tape and connect them up so that during uh, ongoing use over and over and over uh, none of these connectors pop loose. Then you got to get inside the chassis and fix it. One last thing, there's a USB connection right here. Make sure the red on this uh, Contron motherboard, which is a 3642B113, um, there's a USB connector, and from my pictures show that the red connector is to the outside here, and the black one is to the opposite side, and that's the proper orientation to connect that guy up. <coughs> and uh, so here we are. We're just about to ready to finish this and put it together. Remember when you finalize, you have to, if you want to use CEREC, you got to have your Weeboo card here, your license card, you have to put it in there. So finishing up uh, some of this upgrade here, the things that uh, uh, in the final stages, we hooked in a NVMe drive. It's about the same size as a stick of gum. It's connected right down in here where my finger is, hooks here, then fastens down here. Also put an SSD drive in here. This is to, for the patient data storage. The reality is this is gonna do a recap of everything here. We did a zip tie here to just kind of keep all this stuff from coming around. This is a SATA cable. The SATA cable's hooked up to this SSD drive. Another SATA cable's hooked up over here to this SATA port, which will hook to the DVD drive. This is the sound port, and that hooks into the capture card. This uh, is an on-off switch for the motherboard. It also hooks into the capture card. Then we have um, another uh, connection here for the power. And uh, lastly, we have the um, speaker, which is over here hooked into this capture card. We go to the other side here where we have the two fans, but we hooked up a fan extension because there's three fans in this unit. There's one here and then two connections for fans that are inside the chassis that this fits into. This here is the power unit. And then over here is a connection for this CPU fan. Here's the RAM memory. In this case, we put 32 gigabytes. Normally I'll put about 64, but I had these extra. The last thing is this USB connector on this Contron motherboard fastens over here with the red uh, part of it over to this side and the black on that side. And it's the innermost uh, connector. And that pretty much has everything hooked up. And now we're ready to put the cover on it and fit it back into one of the Sarek chassis and try it out. To finish up this project. So just to recap a few things about upgrading the motherboard in this Omnicam. Now the advantages I'm gonna uh, up by upgrading the motherboard as I put a faster um, CPU. I'm actually going to go back in and change that one. In this unit, I put a i7 9700K. I ran the benchmarks on it, and it was uh, certainly faster than the, the base Omnicam of this uh, newer generation of Omnicam. However, with the i9 9900K, I found that it was uh, 30 to 40 percent faster uh, this was only about 10 or 12 percent faster. So I'm going to go back in later, pull this all back out and uh, swap out, and put an i9 9900K onto this Contron D3642B13 motherboard, which is in the 5.2.2 OEM version of the Omnicam, which is a uh, 
uh, an upgrade, uh, upgraded Omnicam to the latest generation that they ever uh, produced the Omnicam. Now, uh, just to recap some things, when I go to put the back panel on, I'm going to unplug the battery so the back panel can fit in, then I'll plug the battery back in, the battery backup. Everything else is buttoned up here, all the screw fasteners up top and here. Um, I'm going to boot this up. One problem I ran into, um, is I could not get the internal sound system to operate, and I've done this twice now and come up with the same problem. I've copied an exact duplicate a system that operates with the sound and everything, but in this case didn't work, but I just did a workaround. Life is too short to try to troubleshoot every single problem that can be easily overcome. So in this case, a set of small speakers plugged into the USB port and the external jack, and I'm back in business. The unit works perfectly. But one thing you'll find if you change out the motherboard in uh, these units, you might find that all of a sudden your camera is not seen anymore. And that's because it is seen as a new device. And when it sets it up, it puts the wrong settings. So you have some options, uh, but the main option is just go in and find the Matrix, M-A-T-R-O-X driver and you uh, configuration uh, system. It's a program that Densply Serona has and you run that and it'll set up your network put the proper settings in for the device uh, address and the parameters for this camera. Uh, you can do it manually. If you have another identical Omnicam, you can copy those. Uh, it's basically a gigabyte Ethernet set up for the camera. And so it's in your network settings and you got to go in and reset all of those settings. But if you just run that program, it'll reset it for you. And then the Omnicam will see your camera. I was hoping it'd fix the sound problem also because the sound comes off that same Matrix grabber card, but wasn't able to solve that. But here we go, we're gonna boot up. We hit the button, we see it turns green. In this case, instead of seeing the Dense Splice Serona splash screen, you're gonna see Contron, uh, which is a Fujitsu motherboard. Most other Omnicams used an MSI motherboard from Blue Cam all the way up, um, but perhaps because of a shortage, some, for some reason, this German-made Fujitsu Contron motherboard was put in the version PC version 5.2.2. So here we are, and we can see the different versions of um, Serif. But what I'm getting at here is if I go here and I run Control Panel, and I go to Networks, and you're going to see that there's an Ethernet camera, an Ethernet milling, and then there's my Wi-Fi settings. And this Ethernet camera is not, and you won't even say camera, it might say just gigabyte. But overall, what you're going to find is that that um, device, the parameters were set up incorrect. So we go here to properties and you'll see that this says Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP 4. Um, if you had put the motherboard in and booted up, it would configure and all these other things would be checked and it would be set to the wrong address. And you'll find when you bring um, the Serex software up and you go to devices that you wouldn't be able to find your camera, and that's disconcerting, but that's the solution is you go in and find a program uh, called uh, Matrox Configurator or something like that. Um, it's already in the software, and you run that and it'll configure it, or you find another Omnicam that's working and you go into your gigabyte setting uh, for the ethernet and set up, but there's multiple parameters that have to be set up. So overall, um, here we are with the Serac, we go up here, we go to configuration, we go here, and right now you can see all my mills are turned off in my back office, but you can see the camera has a check mark. But if you originally booted this up and went here, you'd see, hey, no camera, and you'd realize that something got fouled up and you have to run that program. So let me see if I can bring that program up for you. We'll go to my PC. Um, Program or Dense by Serona drivers. There it is. Matrix vision or Matrix Vision. I think it's really Matrox. I'll have to change that. And here it is, Omnicam Network Configurator. You're gonna run this program and it will set up your camera. Alright. That's the last thing you need to know. Uh, you can